guys, this is JJ Andrew, the Druid Syndicate team. Big shout out to Phantom Hacker, the developer of this ROM, and this is called Blazer ROM. So today we're going to be installing it on our Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. So yeah, this is pretty much a walkthrough of how to install it. So here you go, sorry for the grid on the computer, the camera seems to do that. Next time I'll try and get a screen recording software up to work with that. But yeah, just go ahead and click on the Blazer ROM download or the mirror, it depends what you want. And if you do want the removed Samsung apps, then you can always get this. But yeah, this is just aimed for pretty much everything right here. So go ahead and read all that. That's what it's aimed for. Looks like it's gonna be really fast and amazing freaking battery life. And it is based on the latest over the air update. And also King 77 posted an updated root method that I just followed. So I will have a link to that video in the description if you would like to know how to root your phone so that you can do this and experience the awesomeness of this ROM. So basically we're just going to place the ROM on the SD card once it's downloaded. I am downloading it right now at the moment. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and put that on the internal SD card of your phone. You can also put it on the external. I just prefer the internal because I only have a two gig external SD card. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys on our phone once you guys have that ROM on the internal SD card of your device. Okay, so now that we have the ROM on our internal SD card, we are now going to power off our device. So go ahead and wait till that notification light uh, pretty much turns completely off and then go ahead and do what I'm about to show you guys. So hold up on the volume rocker, hold on to the home button, and hold the power button at the same exact time. And then as soon as the Samsung screen pops up, just stop holding down on the buttons. If you do do a reboot, then go ahead and do the process again. Just hold down all those buttons, fire marker up, home button, power button, and wait till the Samsung screen lights up and then release, and then it'll boot you into your custom recovery. And as always, I recommend scrolling down to Backup and Restore and clicking on Backup. Always create a backup. But remember, you must have an external SD card to do that, so that's a major downfall of those backups. I just had to clear out my whole SD card because I only have a 2 gig SD card. So that is a downfall, but yeah, I definitely recommend making a backup. It can cause the life and death of your phone. So now, since we are going from a stock ROM, if you're coming from any previous ROMs, then always wipe data and wipe cache partition. But since we aren't really coming from any other ROMs, you can just go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from internal SD card, and then scroll all the way down to Phantom Blazer LF9 Sprint GS3.zip. Click on that and hit yes, install Phantom Blazer. And basically that's going to install the ROM, so you can see right down here, it is installing. And yeah, this is going to be a pretty awesome ROM from what the OP said. So this is going to be awesome. I'll definitely have a full review on it, but not probably for a few more hours after this video is posted because I do have to go to dinner, clean my room, and go to golf and hit at the driving range. So. Yeah, this is going to take a little while for it to install, so be patient. And once this is done, the first boot up is going to take a while too, so just be patient. You're not going to get stuck in a boot loop. Just be patient. Eighty-six out of 186 starting applications, let's go! Get ready for the blazer ROM. Get ready to get burned. It's going to blaze all over you. So as you can see, it kept all your data since we didn't wipe our data, obviously. And nothing new as we can see here. But if we go into our apps, whoa, it's already faster. The transition is really smooth. Let's see if we have super user. Yes, we have super user. And it looks like it did remove some Samsung apps, so that's pretty cool. No more bloatware for us. And let me go down to about phone. About device, and you can see build number Phantoms Blazer version 1.1 LF9. So, this is the current version. If you're watching this, it might be a different version. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll definitely have a full review on this ROM 
how fast it is and all I can say from using it, it is very snappy and super fast but I'll see how battery life is through the coming days and I'll update you guys with an updated Blazer ROM video as well. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want lots of Galaxy S3 root support and yeah, go ahead and follow What Would Josh Do's YouTube channel too. He has lots of videos. He's going to be getting the Galaxy S3 soon as well. And he's a really cool guy. Go and check him out. I'll have a link to his channel in the description. But for now, guys, I'll see y'all later.